What's up, everybody? I figure, uh... Okay, good to go, Doug. Right, just a sec here. Tomorrow, I'm going to bring uh, a GoPro 7 black in, and I'm going to try and live stream from it, so you guys can actually see what I do during the day. But as for right now, I'm getting ready to buy a couple bunks of plywood up these guys for the roofing that we're working on and fly some roof sets. Let me flip the camera on here. And hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I won't be able to see the chat. But at least you'll be able to see what's going on with the crane. I'll show you what we got going on. gotten a little bit better today about giving me directions on what they want me to do. The majority of the time I can't see what's going on up there. chat so if you guys are chatting I'll probably have to look at it a little bit later on I have my phone sitting in its holder you can't really see the screen but this is probably the first really nice day where you're actually seeing blue skies and at least a week and a half, two weeks. So, for me, this would be nice drone flying weather. A little bit of sun, not much wind, perfect. The past couple nights has been either freezing drizzle, snow, light snow, high winds. 
just this last weekend was pretty much a, a crummy weekend for flying. stuff up for me. It's a, it's a little bit of a learning process at the beginning, learn learning how to how to rig something, which way to rig something and he's coming into it, I'll give him that. He's doing pretty darn good. I think he used to be a carpenter, now he's uh, an operator. I don't even know if you can see him in the shot. <laughs> it'll it'll be a little bit better tomorrow when we get to when I have that GoPro set up in there. I bought a magnetic mount for it and should help uh, with trying to film things. I I want to do a a photo time lapse of installing the the roof uh, sections, but the suction cup that I had that I put on the window would constantly fall off the window every 10-15 minutes so it got annoying after a while so I just gave up on it and picked up a, a magnetic mount for it. nice thing with with having that uh, hero black up is uh, 
you know, the image is going to be a little more stabilized, whereas this phone, you're getting all the motion that, that I'm feeling in this brain. got to make sure all the chains aren't twisted and that he's he's got the chains going to the correct sides because you don't want them crossing over or pulling weird it puts a lot of extra stress on on your your rigging when you do it like that See if it picks up straight. Got some tag lines on there so those guys can right, grab, it. grab it when they get up uh, to set it.
So I can do one of two things. He's gonna try and shorten up those chains or, or make them longer on this side, or he could take that board all that far side and move it forward because all the weights on my side here. Pretty much all it is when you're lifting material like this is it's a balancing act. And if you really think about it, all a crane basically is is a, a fat kid and a little kid on a teeter totter. On the far side there, it's, it's either that or take take all the loops or all the links out of the chain. that cues in the air. I'm gonna need another 
five feet of boom down at least five six feet Maybe if I spun it around to the left side, it turned the opposite direction. That's it. Wait for them to to nail her into place and unhook me, and that's a roof section. All right. So, what'd you think of that? I can't see Chad, so. <laughs> I got the sun in my eyes are reflecting back at me, so my phone's pretty much worthless right now. But, uh, Gosh, I, got a copy. I said tomorrow I'll bring in that, uh, Hero 7 Black and we'll fly those trusses here on the south side, and you can see how, how it's done and, and how, how these guys work. And, direct the crane but thanks everybody for stopping by I appreciate the comments don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow take care everyone now if I know where to stop this stream <laughs> oh one second here I'll show you the inside. And here's my controls. My boom. This is for my mainline cable. It's my swing lever. This one is for the auxiliary drum we're not using anymore. It puts on the swing brake, throttle, the service brake, and this one right here is for extending and retracting the boom that one right there push on the top to extend push on the bottom to retract all right they want me to cable down that's good Doug. all right guys I appreciate y'all stopping by and seeing a day in my life. I can honestly say that as a craner operator, I love my job.
All right, everybody, take care, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. And we're working on that section. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're not avoiding conference calls, Don Joyce. All right, I'm out. Take care, guys.